So it's the end of the lawn season. Sad day, I know. Grass is looking good. You're happy with what you accomplished in this season. It's time to put the lawnmowers away. And it's time to put the fertilizer away. So what do you do with your leftover fertilizer? What's the shelf life on it? How long will it last? Let's get into it right now. So Scott's granular fertilizers will actually last indefinitely is what Scott says. So as long as you have it and you keep it in a dry place, then it's gonna last you as long as you need it to last. So if you do see sales in the fall or spring for fertilizers and you can afford it, buy a few bags, it's not gonna go bad on you. And you'll have it for when you need it. So when it does come to storing it, maybe get a Rubbermaid bin if you're worried about excess moisture. The only thing it's gonna do is maybe make it a little bit clumpy, but that's what you want to avoid. So I just personally keep mine up off the concrete on a shelf and it's good to go every single spring. Okay, so now on to the liquid fertilizers. So this is pertaining to the Grow Forage products, which is down there, and all of those guys. Now I reached out to Grow Forage just to find out what the shelf life actually is. And these said, as long as you don't let it freeze, it's got a shelf life of about four to five years, which is pretty good. So if you do wanna buy one of those two and a half gallon jugs, it's not gonna go bad by the time you end up running out. So that is a very good thing. So just don't let it freeze, bring your liquids inside so they're warm over the winter and they're gonna last you until you run out and they will not go bad. So just the basic things to note is don't let your granulars get wet. Do not let your liquid fertilizers freeze. As long as you keep those things in mind, your fertilizers are gonna be fine come spring, season after season, they're not gonna go bad before you run out of them. So I hope you enjoyed these quick little tips. With that, this has been Backwoods. We'll see you in the next one.